Today is food for thought comes from the fourth chapter of James, verses two and three, which reads, You lust and do not have. You murder and covet and cannot obtain. You fight and war. Yet you do not have because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive because you ask amiss, that you may spend it on your pleasure. As you have heard me say time and time and time again over the years, prayer is incredibly important. Your prayer life is an indicator to the health of your fellowship with the Lord. Believe it or not, there are many professed believers, many so-called believers who often comment that they don't pray to the Lord. A couple of the reasons as to why they say they don't pray to God is because they believe that God moves too slowly or they will say that God does not give them what it is that they have asked for. This last point being the most common reason as to why people say that they don't pray to the Lord. Well, I ask today, have you ever considered that the reason you have not received is because of what you're asking for and for your reason of asking? We have been promised God will give to us whatever it is that we ask for, but there is a caveat to this point. First, we must ask having faith, very important. Second, what we ask for will be given if it glorifies the Lord, even more important. You see, some of us fail to understand this when it comes to prayer, and we truly think to ourselves that God should just give us anything because, well, we prayed. James, he makes it very clear. If you pray out of less than covetous, you won't receive. If you ask amiss or to fulfill your pleasures, your wants, don't expect to receive anything from God. I want to be very clear on this thought for you today. The Lord will bless us with the desires of our heart if we use what he gives to us to be a blessing to all of those that are around us. However, the Lord will never give us anything to serve sin and wickedness. So if you feel that God is not answering your prayers or that God does not give you what you ask for, I urge you today to consider what it is that you are asking for and to what needs you are asking out of. You see, this point is truly of great importance for you when it comes to asking and receiving from the Lord. I hope my thought for today has given you something to think about, and I hope that it will encourage you, that it will uplift you, and that it will motivate you as well. Be sure that you share this thought with someone somewhere, and if you haven't already done so, make sure that you're following this channel so that you can always receive my next Food for Thought.